What's up? This is 100 Yards with Michael Bumpus today. We're talking to Quentin Jefferson. Yes, sir. So you guys come off a tough game against the Niners on Monday night. Yes, a little sir. thriller. Team's a little banged up. So mm -hmm. I feel like that bye week came at a perfect time. Oh, man. It came out, the, like you said, the perfect right time. You know, we had 10 weeks straight coming into the season. You know, that's long. I mean, that's as long as I ever went without a bye. So it was dope just to get that, that rest and get mentally ready for that second stretch of the season. So what do you do during bye? You stay here? You go home? Man. Yeah, I usually stay here, but this week, this year I went to Hawaii, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, like, last month, it was like raining for like damn near the whole month. So I went, had to get some sun, you know, spend some quality time with the family, my wife. So it was dope. That's what I'm jealous. I'm actually, I was born in Hawaii. Okay. But I ain't never been back, so. Oh, man, you got to. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was perfect weather when I got there. So it was, it was love, man. I got to get in that ocean, you know, feel, you feel like it helped heal my body. So it was good. That's what's up. So you married four kids. I'm what's married up? with three kids. And, you know, we don't get much time to spend with wifey during the, during the football no doubt. season. No so. doubt. When I get when I get a chance, I go to Toscano's. This little Italian restaurant. Okay. Where do you go? Oh um, man, actually today's like the day I spend my wife and uh, we try to hit up all these breakfast spots in Seattle. Like mm -hmm. we might go like to Smiths in Capitol Hill or like we like Barrios brunch or um, yeah. So so today I don't know. She usually surprised me with a place. So we're gonna go somewhere today to get some brunch. That's what's up. <laughs> so Woodland Hills High School. Yes sir. Back in PA, yes, I looked sir. it up at one time. Y'all had six dudes in the league, yeah, including Ron Kowski and Robert Kowski yeah. and yourself. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it is about the program over there that's producing all these ballers? I don't know, man. Something in the water. Something in the water. Actually, uh, the running back, uh, Miles Sanders for the Eagles, uh -huh. went to my high school, and we played Little League together. So it's going to be cool going against him. And that's, I don't know. It's just I try to tell people, like, Pennsylvania football is almost like Texas. Like, it's like mm -hmm. religion, you know. Yeah. We take it very seriously, you know. And uh, my school has a tradition of winning. And just, I don't know, it's just something, like, everybody aspires to be, like, an athlete growing up, a football athlete. So it's just, I don't know, something in the water. Something in the water. <laughs> so earlier in the season, you guys would go back home and play mm -hmm. against the Steelers. Yeah. Uh, what was that like, being in front of your fans, your, your uh, family? It was dope, man. Uh, I think last time I played there was my, my senior year in high school. We actually went down high and played the Whipfield Championship. So it was good to get back down there, you know, and get the W, yeah. you know. So, uh, I mean, I don't know it was a dream come true because I always wanted to either, like, play for the Steelers growing up or play against them. So getting an opportunity to play against them, you know, Coach Tomlin, you know, Ben, who I've been watching, like, growing up. Yeah. So it was pretty it was pretty cool. Yeah, and you get to go back again uh, yeah. this week, right? Yeah, That's no like, doubt. Back little, in Pennsylvania. A little two for one. A little mm -hmm. two for one. Uh, so how's the body feeling? You feeling healthy? Oh, ready man. To go? I'm feeling great, you know, ready for this week, ready to finish off strong. You know, we had a good beginning of the season, but this is, the, you know, the critical time. This yeah. is where the games really count. Yeah. You know, you got the got people playing for playoff contention, number one. So I'm excited. So you hear, you talk to all the coaches, you hear the chatter around you. They're saying this is the best year you put together so far. What do you yeah. think is the difference between this year and past years? Uh, I think the biggest thing, like I said, just health. You know, um, my first few years in the league, I was was injured. You know, it's unfortunate, but uh, my biggest thing is I try to see the positive out of every situation. Try to just use that time to get mentally better and get physically stronger, and I feel like it's just starting to pay off. Yeah, there we go. Quinn yes, Jefferson going home again, yes, going to ball out, going to do his thing. Safe for second time, man. I appreciate it. All right.